Hey guys, what's happening? This is Forgo Nation, and in light of the upcoming update, since uh, good old Ronan's getting a uni, I thought I'd share a little gameplay of this guy, of how he is right now. So this is the team we're going to be running with you guys. We're going to use Shuri for her tier 2 passive, which increases damage dealt to supervillain types by 45%, and decreases damage received from supervillain types for by 35%, which is very important for good old Ronan guy doesn't have a whole lot of survivability and we're going to use ghost for his tier 2 passive as well to increase damage dealt to supervillain types by 45 percent and decrease damage received from supervillain types by 15 percent all right let's take a look at good old ronin now remember my ronin has 17,000 energy attack he has 118 attack speed 21 crit rate 154 critical damage max ignore defense and max skill cooldown so, other than the ignore defense and skill cooldown, his stats are looking uh, pretty crappy, guys. Not too great. He has all level 20 gears, no urus, and all the skills are level 6. He has a drastic density enhancement, and I have that to increase his survivability. It does give him a little bit of an all attack buff, and it gives him a little bit more max HP. But it creates a shield that's 20% of his max HP, so the more max HP you have, the stronger the shield you're gonna have and so I have a ma uh, CTP of refinement on him to increase that max HP and to also give him a heal I try to give this guy as much survivability as I could because Ronin uh, he don't have a lot to offer guys I mean you take a look at his skills here in his passive he ignores target dodge rate by 20% useful against uh, Corvus Glaive and useful against characters that have a lot of dodge, but that's about it. It's kind of a crappy tier 2 passive to be honest, but it's okay I guess. Is one is nothing, it's no iframe, it's nothing. Is two, no iframe, no nothing. Is three, has a fear, but that's useless against world boss. Plus there's no iframe, nothing guys. Is passive, he creates a shield that's 10% of his max HP. So again, the more max HP I have, the stronger the shield so that's another reason I have CTP of refinement on him his four no iframe no nothing his five well he's got an all attack bump which is good but he still has no means of survivability whatsoever his leadership good leadership to 36 increased all attack to universal types and 36 percent increased to all defenses for universal types so guys this guy is completely horrible. Ronin is terrible. For a character that's as powerful as he is in the comics, this guy is god awful. But, he can do a world boss. So let's take him in against Corvus Glaive and let's rock and roll. So, guys, we're in stage five against Corvus. <laughs> So it's not a very high stage, and we're using two support characters, but all I'm going to do is hit that 5, hit that 4, hit that 2 mainly, and just rotate between those three skills. I'll throw in the 1 and the 3 once in a while, but the, the 5, 4, and the 1 is the main ones I'm going to be using. And <laughs> I mean, he can, he can do this. I mean, obviously, you know, the trick with Ronin is just keeping him alive. The guy has no means of survivability whatsoever. And that's why I have him built the way he is built. I am praying to God this guy gets a good upgrade in this update. I'm hoping that he becomes a hell of a lot stronger than what he is because this guy needs some love. Seriously, this... Now, I'm pretty sure he's going to get level 70. And I know he's going to get a uni, guys. We all know he's getting a uni. I just hope it's a hell of a bump for him. Like a damage bump. Like, he's actually... I mean... <laughs> I know, I know it's only stage 5, but he's actually putting out some decent damage. I really didn't think he'd be able to do this. I honestly did not think this guy could even do a world boss. I always figured him just mainly for a Shadowland character, but I actually am proving myself wrong in this. Uh, he actually can do this. You know, as long as he's got the right CTP on him and give him all those heals and keep him alive... Uh, he can stay alive and he's doing <laughs> respectful damage <laughs> uh, but let's be honest guys this is still pretty freaking horrible <laughs> I mean, this is nothing special to watch and I am not finishing this fight guys there's no way uh, 
there's no way I'm gonna finish a stage five fight. <laughs> but we'll take him down to the last bar, but it's just, it's pretty pitiful how Ronan is right now. And, I, and honestly, I'm so excited, I really am, that this guy is getting a bump. I'm super, super stoked. He deserves it, he needs it. I want this guy to be a playable character, and I think all of us do. We want him to be good. He needs it all. He needs survivability. He needs damage. He needs love, Net Marble. Hook this guy up. Hook him up. But even though I'm saying all that, guys, I'm still I'm still surprised he's able to do this. I honestly am surprised. I man, you know. I mean Ronan's pretty terrible, but I guess he's not as bad as I originally thought, but still, <laughs> that's not saying a whole lot, guys. I mean, he's, yeah, he's pretty terrible, but he is getting it done. Crazy. So let's pray, pl pr bleh. let's pray to the Net Marble Gods to hook old Ronan up and show this guy some serious love. I want this guy to be good. At least decent, at least playable. I would love to see him become a little bit more OP, but eh, we'll see. So we're going to cut it short now? Okay, you guys, let me know what you think. Are you excited for old Ronan? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.